of the reasons we chose Ensenada over other destinations is the wide offer of local products available, with seafood being one of them. Our vision of living in Mexico did not include weekly trips to Costco or Walmart. After a little over a month in Ensenada, we purchased our fish at the black market. You won't find smugglers or pirates there, only seafood lovers. However, the name seems to have originated from a time when the Ensenada fish market was renowned for selling illegal species. The market is located near the harbor, in the touristy section of downtown. Not far from there, is the area where cruise ships dock and disembark their passengers. This explains the presence of souvenir street shops all around. However, you won't find cruise ship tourists buying fish, the majority of customers are locals. Por donde empieza? Vale, mira primero todo, ¿no? We usually start by looking around to see what is available. Since most of the products are local, we only have access to what fishermen provide, and each week there may be new items available while others may not be. It's best to always go to the market with an open mind looking for opportunities rather than having something specific in mind. Our usual objective is to buy seafood and fish that will last us for one week. It is also important to compare prices and product quality and have a good understanding of what is available. Observing Mirabelle's expression, I can easily tell where she definitely won't make a purchase. After a quick tour, we usually have a very good idea of what is available. It is time to start buying. The first thing that caught our attention was some nice bonitos. The bonito belongs to the same family as tuna and Spanish mackerel. It is a very flavorful fish that can be prepared in various ways. Before making a purchase, always inquire about the price, negotiate the quantity, and ensure that the fish is fresh. Unfortunately, some fishermen freeze their products without always indicating it clearly. Always ensure that the fish is fresh by checking the eyes and gills. If you are not satisfied, do not hesitate to ask for another one. We are specifically seeking fish caught on the same day and not from the previous day. Once you are satisfied, clearly explain how you would like the fish to be cut. Moving to another vendor, Maribel spotted some calamari. It was the first time we had seen them in the market, and she jumped at the opportunity. The octopus also looked great, but we still had some left over from last time. In the US, octopus can be hard to find or quite expensive. As the vendor was selecting the calamari, Mirabelle inquired about fresh shrimps. The scarcity of fresh shrimps is one of her main disappointments. They seem difficult to find, and the majority of them are either frozen or have been previously frozen. Camarón, 
Another aspect of the market is the importance of keeping an open mind, discovering new things, and asking how to prepare and enjoy them. We should never be afraid to try new foods. This approach has always been our philosophy when exploring and enjoying the various countries we have visited in the past. Our favorites is fish eggs. While many people are familiar with and sometimes enjoy caviar, there are various types of fish eggs available in the market, which can be purchased fresh. Just ensure that you choose eggs that are not broken, as it can be more challenging to cook and prepare them if they are damaged. And then there is always the ultimate surprise. Spider crabs are often priced exorbitantly in many European countries, rendering them unaffordable for most people. However, we didn't miss the opportunity and indulged in their exquisite meat, which we believe has a more delicate flavor compared to traditional crab meat. Hemos comprado una concha que no sé cómo se llama, concha fina, un bonito entero, un centollo, un kilo de gamba. Una hueva, ¿a qué va? Y algo más se me olvida, pero no sé lo que es. Calamares, un calamare, de calamare. Y la tuna era 4 kilos. 4 kilos de atún, sí. Bueno, pues un total, creo que han sido como unos 1100 pesos. No, unos 1200. Vale, ponle 1300 pesos. Divido por 100, 6 por 3, 18, 6 por 1, unos 70 dólares. 70 dólares. Eh. Unos 70 dólares.